We bring you sports now on Joy News today. I am Muftar Nabila Abdullah, a ranking member on the Parliamentary Select Committee on Sports. Commander Mensah Oweyome has described Ghana's organization of the African Games 2023 as a monumental disaster. According to him, the government of Ghana spent about $241 million, despite Parliament approving just $150 million Ghana City for the organization of the Games. He says in the coming days, the minority will probe into Ghana's organization of the African Games and the expenditure that went into the infrastructure and the organization of the event. The just ended games were a monumental disaster and total embarrassment to our dear country. The Akufuado Baumia NPP government spent a staggering $240 million on the just ended games. Yet, the organization and management of the event was poor and shambolic. While the government sacrificed value for money principles and, and, and breached procurement procedures, infringed on the Public Financial Management Act, leading to huge expenditure Ghanaians have been swayed by the frivolous outcome of the games to believe all is well. Given the current state of the Ghanaian economy, which has been rendered bankrupt by the Akufuado Baumia MPP government, emerging details about the hefty expenditure on the games raise eyebrows and concerns among Ghanaians. Several unfortunate incidents that were recorded in the course of the games left many wondering whether that quantum of money was really spent. That is Governor Mensah Oweyome, a ranking member on the Parliamentary Select Committee on Sports, speaking at a press conference on Tuesday. Now let's go to the camp of the Black Stars. They have played two friendly matches and won one since, and drawn one since the reappointment of uh, Otoado as the head of the technical bench. The recent friendly matches were against Nigeria, a game they lost 2-1 and drew 2-2 against Uganda. He says uh, that the team would need to start creating chances if they want to win matches. We didn't win a game, so this is the, the, the general summary, which is bad. Um, I think we can uh, we see the first match, I think there was, uh, even though we lost, you could see that um, there were a lot of positive things still, especially in the second half with 10 men playing good football, having good movements, um, well positioned. Um, against the strong Nigerian team with a lot of young players. And um, yeah, the second match um, was more difficult for us. Um, and I know that um, if we want to build something, especially like having ball possession, playing out from the back, there will be mistakes. And with mistakes, sometimes comes um, um, a little bit of fear also to make mistakes so yeah we have to get over it um, it was a good learning today um, there were some good parts and um, but in all surely it's a uh, way to 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 less to to play 2-2 two -two against Uganda we expect more even though I mean a lot of players were missing I don't have to say um, but still um, we could have done better a um, little bit unlucky with the Two goals against us with the penalty and the second one I don't know if it was even a goal but in all the, the football we played was not was not good enough um, we should have created more chances um, especially in the final third we have to work on on creating more chances um, the finishing must, must be better under pressure and it's a lot of work a lot of work Otoada, who is taking over the Black Stars coaching job at the end of May he signed a 34 month contract with the Ghana Football Association. That's your sports for now. We do have more sports stories on myjoyonline.com. We appreciate your time. <music>